Hi, this video demonstrates a program I created to solve a variation of the traveling salesman problem in which you do not return to your starting point after you finish. We can see on the screen that I'm clicking points on the map that I want to traverse. Once I've entered all the points, I right click and the program shows me that the shortest route is from green to orange and in this case covers 1743 pixels. I created this program to try and find an optimal solution for Tour of the Galaxy in Star Trek Online. So I have a screenshot of the Alpha Quadrant here and I have entered in the pertinent destinations for Tour of the Galaxy. We can see that Deep Space Nine is green. That means that the program will treat it as a required starting point. So if I evaluate this route, we can see that it starts from Deep Space Nine and covers 3,121 pixels. Uh, Deep Space Nine is one of the possible transwarp destinations in the Alpha Quadrant, uh, but Defera is another one. So in this case, I will remove the original point for Defera and add a green one. So now the program will try to start with one of these two points. So if I run it again, we can see that now the shortest route starts from Defera, and in this case is only 2,993 pixels. Um, another way to examine uh, this map is to um, fly in from the side. So we can see here where I enter the map. If I zone in from the top of the map in the beta quadrant, so if I add a zone in point here and change Deep Space Nine back to a uh, regular point and run again, we'll start from the zone in. You can see that if we zone in here, this is the optimal route. Uh, however, this is 3,150 pixels. Lastly, we'll look at the beta quadrant. Beta quadrant is quite a bit larger and has 21 systems to visit. This is a little bit of a challenge for the program, which uses branch and bound to solve the traveling salesman problem. Uh, it does use multiple cores, but it hasn't really been optimized for maximum speed and it's kind of a hard problem. So it struggles with larger maps. Uh, 21 systems is okay. Uh, it takes about 15 seconds. And uh, it also uses up all of my processing power. So uh, the recording audio cuts out, so I won't talk during this run. In this case, we're not specifying any required starting points, so it's going to evaluate uh, all possible starting points and find the optimal route starting from anywhere and ending anywhere. All right, so we can see in this case that the shortest route travels from Nimbus to Sanic and takes 4,064 pixels. This is not uh, the same scale as the Alpha Quadrant map, and so these values um, aren't easily comparable. But if you would like to read more about the different tests that I've done using uh, different starting points and different transwarp destinations, uh, and look at some data in which I've normalized it to light years, feel free to visit the page linked to in the description of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.